hello everyone so today we will solve the problem length of longest subarray with at most k, fre k frequency from the biweekly contest 119 so first thing first i recommend you to solve the problem for at least 20 minutes if you couldn't able to solve then you can watch the hints still you couldn't able to solve then you can come and watch the video tutorial in the, if you follow in this pattern then only you will improve your problem solving skills or else you will be addicted to the video solutions and you will not think by yourself so without wasting any further time let's understand the problem statement you are given an integer array nums and an integer k theek hai the frequency of an element x is the number of times occurs in an array kitne bar aaya an array is called good if the frequency of each element in this array is less than or equals to k he saying that the uh we will call the array good if the frequency of the element should be less than k now suppose my k is equals to 2 but my 1 occurred three times then we will say this is a bad bad array agar 1 do bar hi aaye to we will say it's a good array we need to return the length of the longest good subarrays of nums okay we want the maximum length A subarray is a continuous non-empty sequence of elements. Which a subarray means it will be continuous. Subarray subsequence. You should understand it clearly. Then, if you think about the subsequence, Gaya problem. This is subarray. <coughs> Now, he is saying we should find the longest. Acha longest. So you can do brute force. You can go from i to j, and in other loop you can maintain zero to. And and in other loop you can maintain from same i to uh, i plus one to n and in this range this consider this as i this is j plus one in this range i to j I will check in every i to j I will check whether the my elements are present or not it will take order of n cube so it is a pretty straightforward solution I think if you are intermediate in the DSA you could able to do brute force solution that's why I am not explaining. so you you can try by yourself because that is pretty straightforward now let's say a uh, window size let's think about sliding window sliding window we have two types of sliding windows fixed size fixed size means you will say yes my length is k and in this subarray only my operations will be performed and there will be variable size this problem is a variable size sliding window because Once the condition is failing, we will increment i. If my condition is success, we will increment j. In this way, i and j will fight, 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 and it will see when i when both will be maximum. So uh, let's consider this example. I have taken this. These are my indexes, and I will sh starting my i is equals zero and j equals to zero. I am using hash map to store the frequencies, or else you can use frequency count. Anything you can use. It's it's your choice. no i and j are at index 0 my m of 1 will be 1 <coughs> now my j has increased my 1 1 and my j has increased to 3 and my 3 frequency has also increased my j 1 my 1 frequency has increased to 2 here the k should be 2 it should be 2 1 less than 2 if it is reaches 3 we will break it now now my j is here my m of 3 is 2 now my j is here and my m of 1 is becoming 3 it it is failed my condition so i am incrementing my i my i comes here and my j is still here my j is still here and i am counting m of 1 is 1 m of 1 is 2 uh, it satisfied because we have decrementing at i you will decrement when i coming here we are decrementing from the map now at this index my j is at 2 My m of two is three. My m of one is two. My m of three is two. But my m of two is three. So we will increment i by decrease the frequency of two. So we will decrease the frequency of two. My m of two will be two. So my i and j. Now if you see these two conditions are failing, and at every point you will calculate the answer. So if you see here, my answer will be max of <coughs> answer comma j minus i plus one. You see here, these are my two answers. Then in this, in this i j, i j, i j, till here my answers are satisfied. It is like five minus zero plus one, so it will be six. So this is only the maximum I can reach. 
or else this is this is also my maximum it is also giving me six if it's going seven then we will go with seven now i think you understood this example so try to code by yourself let's see like if you are able to code let's code and let's uh, observe like where you are going wrong then you can come to the coding part now i think you have tried it let's see the coding part we have taken the map m and i is equals to 0 and j equals to 0 my answer is 1 and uh, m of v of j plus plus at every time we will index increment j value and we will check m of v of j is greater than k here we are checking right at this condition we are checking here it is failing so we have checked it one as s my uh, this is greater so i am decrementing v of i and i am incrementing the i and it every time we are calculating the answer and then we are returning the answer so guess the time complexity if you say two while loops you will think that oh order of n square it's not like that it's not like that see i is going from 0 to n and j is also going from 0 to n that's it order of 2 into n so it is order of n and my space i'm not using yeah i'm using the map so it is an extra space so it will be my order of n and i think you understood it so if you understood please please do like and subscribe to my channel and one one small request please upvote so that other students will also get benefit from this video and thank you for watching